So when we laughed, left, laugh left. <laughs> Good day, everyone. My tongue is compromised. <laughs> that's the that's the word, compromised. God damn it, that was our car, our motor carriage. Oh, I can't believe it. I was so sure we had a track. You know, something going towards the case, and 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 just. Last time we found out, thanks to Volition, that it be your own. It be your own. You know? Can't trust anyone. So, um, let's just walk forward with caution and realize that sometimes uh, people can hijack these stats, <laughs> essentially. Dorgan and Megamix, we listened to it. Uh -huh. and then we talk we to didn't talk to her it. about listening to yeah. it. So that's something we can do. We also got a little tip to go see um, uh, Cindy. Cindy when we get a chance. Ask her about Sunday night when uh, he's gone. Which also, once we turn the body in, he's going to leave. True. So that can be a two-in-one. One of the things that we can do without him. Okay. Yes. So we have to make sure that we remember uh, to do a number of... Um, oh, go on. We have to remember to do a number of uh, Kim... Uh, not Kim not included tasks mm -hmm. when we get the chance. Uh, question her about the dead man. Uh, huh? Okay. Specific height build, etc., to confirm on the autopsy. Ask her a little later when she's collected herself, and find the working class husband, because be yes, somewhere. turned out the glomp lady actually really had a need to find her husband. What else from Tuesday and Monday uh, can we do? Or maybe we should focus on one thing at a time, actually. Find the firearm that yeah. shot the 4.46. Ongoing process. Send the body to processing. Yeah. Split, the, Split kilo. the kilo with Kuno. Come on, just a little bit. That's another uh, <laughs> Kimless task, okay. if anything. Uh, open the apartment door for Everarts. We already did that, right. we just didn't let him know. Okay. Find the armor, yes. whenever or wherever that may be. Find the cryptozoologist. The southwest across the canal. Oh, we're gonna go there. We're actually there. Uh. Oh, well, there you go. I guess we'll see him at some point. Victim's tattoos. Ask around about the possible meaning. Mm. Run the numbers on the armor. Call back in a day again. Mm hmm. Chat mystery. That was Monday, mind you, so we should be able to actually go do that. Interrogate the drivers about the smuggling. What's going on in those uh, in that in that blockade? Mm -hmm. uh, Joyce knows things. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. She needs to know. Okay. Okay. Find a way into the secret yeah, passage. Still working on that. Who put the clothes in the trash? On that. And track down your badge. badge. Oh boy. Pissing, Pissing competition. competition. After the initial inspection of the body is done. Flex for your precinct. The sad song that we need. <coughs> I still want to sing a song. Still. We need to sing the song of our people. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. And then, besides all of these tasks, there's literally like, play the game. Yep. You understand? So it's, it's hard to like, choose between playing the game and completing these tasks but for now I'm inclined to want to play the game so that we can find out what's going on in the map footprints in the snow they lead away from the accident seems the walker was either very confused or drunk out of his mind uh, okay we got some footprints to follow and we got a tent over there but before that let's check out our handiwork oh my god 
as well as collect some some cash. How are we still alive? Bottle drained of its booze, frozen on the ice. Look at the state of this car. I mean, you gotta give it to Harry's, like, constitution, at the very <laughs> least. You know? He's got that, like, no, really, what is your liver doing? <laughs> and the expression. Oh, what's in there? A hey. badge? Dubois, let's go! And, and a, a commander's, commander's jacket. jacket. Plus one esprit de corps, plus one visual calculus. You know what? That's a decent find. <laughs> the ice just off the coast crackles, shifting. Okay. Okay. We got the badge. That's a win! We got the badge. Uh, we also got some Jamrock sunnies that we never uh, clicked. Regular black jeans. I believe we found those in Uno's. Yeah. The go black jeans, yeah. The Harmel Rio Supersonic. Out for a ride. Uh, thank God for black jeans. Everyone looks good in black jeans. Combine this with your favorite book t-shirt and yellow plastic bag to channel that laid-back trash bin raccoon meets a cool professor vibe. Or do whatever you want. It's just a pair of black jeans after all. And then we've got our RCM commander's jacket. Yeah, United in Black, sharp eye. A black uniform jacket with RCM signature, white rectangle on its right sleeve and backside. Letters inside the color read LTN 2JFR. The jacket is of exceptional quality other than some minor wear and tear. Okay. So. Good stats on that. Uh, well, if we make the comparison. Right now we're doing Esprit Small and Shivers. And shivers. The shivers are good. And this is Esprit and Visual Calculus. Yeah. Visual Calc is... It's pretty healthy at six. Yeah. We're just going high shivers on the flex. Uh -huh. so the eight! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're just flexing with shivers yep. right now. Uh, so we don't really need to rock this jacket. Let's see what it looks like, just to see if it gives us a thought. Is there something in it? No. It doesn't appear to give us a thought. And there doesn't appear to be anything hidden inside of it now. Alright. Alright. Uh, currently we're wearing the office shades. Plus calculus, minus drama. Uh, plus empathy, minus logic. Well, we can just swap to these for a second to see if they trigger anything. No? Okay. Nothing at all. Click, click. And the jeans. Oh, true. Right now we're wearing the Kuno pants. Stuffed away in the dark workers union office. I mean, a good pair of black jeans shouldn't really awaken any thoughts. It's just a good pair of black jeans, you know? Comfy. Yeah. All right. Um, in interact. We have... Yes. The badge. Wow! Look at that oh, so young fun. fucking officer Yo. <laughs> hitting the streets, ready to save the world. Dude, thick blue piece of acrylic covering a thin layer, a thin leaf of paper with the officer's name and rank on it. Next to the writing, you see a man stare back at you, a younger version of you, already disintegrating inside but still presentable on the outside. Holy fuck. Damn. Harry, man. Harry. Things Yo. happen to you, huh? That's, that's, that's Harold. <laughs> that ain't Harry. That's Harold. <laughs> Harry comes after a fall. A police badge on which you see the photo of a man. You. Some seaweed is stuck to the back. I found my badge. At least something good came out of all this. The lieutenant glances at the badge in your hands. Oh god, is this gonna hurt me just by looking at my past? It is, isn't it? That's morale damage, let's be real. Reggie, where's it? Where where is it? Where's that where's the photo of you that you look at it and you go, Oh, oh man. You know there's one. I know I know mine. Oh yeah? Yeah. What will be yours? High school 
dreads up for the dreads dreads up for the first time, like right when I had them, just at that first like I twisted up my giant fro, essentially, and I started I got my locks going, and there was the first like smooth era of it came in clean, cute face, <laughs> collar slightly popped. Rocking the uniform, so rocking yeah. the uniform, you but felt with my own touch on it because I had the undershirt and I had, you know, I had the, the undershirt and I had the slightly open buttons and the teachers were like, fine, you know, you can, you can rock that style. You know, or you're not, you, the button is not so far below the, you know, and I was like, yeah. Wow. Styling. Where's that for you? I don't know. Maybe potentially a wedding picture okay are you chilling with people and like okay. you're in a suit and you have your drinks and everybody's looking really spiffy and you're yeah. like wow he looks like he has his life in order you know like <laughs> not a nintendo dome <laughs> nintendo mega dome yeah nah. no 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 i do have a, a picture actually in my wallet where i look clean encased between two durable plastic sheets is a bluish card with lines of information and a watermark in the shape of the street grid of Rivershaw West. 2008. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Kind of similar. Yeah, you know, young Reggie, with the same kind of hair, but just clean shaven, you kind of look like Stylebender. Yo. Oh, I see it. You see it? I see it. <laughs> I look I'm like not, Israel. Yeah. Adesanya. I'm not just throwing it out there. You kind of look like Stylebender. I would have to show it to the people at some point. I'll, I'll upload it on my Twitter later <laughs> if you want to check it out. I mean, you can just hold it up to the, the, the thing right there if, you know, if, if, and, and try to get the focus in. But, like, young Reggie, check his Twitter later uh, uh, for the, uh, the, let's see. Yeah. No, no. You got further, further to the left, for sir. Further to the left. The, oh, and that's not focusing. Okay. Well. Anyway. Yeah. Check your uh, check Twitter later, folks. You look. You look like a young, young stylebender. <laughs> I, I legitimately see it. I had potential. I could have been a fighter. Look Damn. at that. You, you could have been the one doing Rockley poses. Yo, I would have styled. <laughs> I would have been his idol. That's how good it would have been, okay? Uh, well, now you're here. <laughs> <laughs> this couch is mad comfy. <laughs> Let's go. You see a photo, a name, a rank, a document number, the date of issue, and in the lower right corner, your precinct. Hmm, you can look at the photo. Look at this photograph. Oh, this is going to hurt, is it? The man keeps winking at you with his green-gray eyes. The photo is old, no doubt about that. But the badge is new. You used an old photo for a new <laughs> badge. Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. He's on this dating website, tricks, Dude. <laughs> what do we got? MySpace angles? What are we doing here? Top down. Oh. Good choice. A newer photo would look different. Hide the pain. How old? Eight, maybe ten years. The guy in the picture is rather good looking. He's got a nice haircut and is distinctly lacking in massive side. Burns. Holy shit. That is one presidential administration ago. Yeah, that was a while ago. Well, that is a full two terms. That is that is the he got hit with the the aging, the White House the White House aging, you know? The stress. Wow. And he's winking. Why? What do you think? His face is already contorted by the expression, although it looks less grotesque on him than it does on you now. The badge in your hand shines as you rotate it, catching light. You see lines of information on it and a shining watermark. Harrier! I was wrong. I said Harold. I would have thought so. Harrier? 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 Like the plane? Like the fucking jet? Harrier Dubois. Whoa. 
Mm. Harrier, that's long for Harry. So you are Harry. Everhart was half right. Probably not a lot of people know your full name. Whoever told him your Harry Dubois didn't. Mm. Wood Harrier. Wait. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck is Harrier? What kind of name is Harrier? Asks Wooly. It's a wartime name. Revolutionary. The kind mothers give their sons during troubled times. Like Undying or Boxer or Ironhide. A name like Armour. But I don't want to be Harrier Dubois. Harrier Dubois it is then. Hey man. You're a powerful jet that can take off vertically. Please to make your acquaintance, Harrier Dubois. Hmm. He's not going to call you Harrier. He'll keep calling you officer when he's angry with you. And detective when he's not. Oh. Wow. SP just got spotted that, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The word usage. I'll keep an eye out for that. Because that feels real. That's super real. Yeah. Like, there's a distance. Like, officer, what are you doing? Us. Yeah. Good work, detective. Good, good work, buddy. <laughs> Rank. <laughs> That's so <good>. Job. <laughs> Badge in your hands shines as you rotate it, catching light. You see lines of information. Mm. LTN to JFR. Lieutenant Double Refrater. What is a Lieutenant Double Refrater? Refrater. The Lieutenant is a rank above Sergeant and below Captain. It's the highest rank in the RCM that still does field work. I am a Lieutenant. Yeah, you know, I always wonder. I remember early on. I, I heard lieutenant and I heard things where they said lieutenant as well. And I was always mm -hmm. like, is it just an option? Optional pick or choose on that one? Oh, I never heard of Tomato, that. tomato, yeah. lieutenant. I've heard lieutenant in movies before. Double your freighter? The title of your freighter is added to your rank when you decline a promotion to a higher rank. In your case, captain. You have declined twice. That's your double your freighter. Wow. Ooh. Captain! So, prestige. Yeah. You've prestiged, your, you've prestiged your, your rank, and you haven't moved up. So, Harry was a good cop. Dude, 300 cases. 300 cases in, like, fucking 8 to 10 years. And he didn't want it. Man, he's so torn inside. You hit 100, you hit 0. You hit 100, you go back to 0. You get a little sticker that says you hit 100. But he never actually moved up and cashed in the points. Min style. <laughs> there are many reasons one would do this. The rank above you in your precincts, the contage might be taken. Or sometimes promoted officers do not want to replace their superiors out of respect. Mm. Or maybe, if I, if I were to guess, I would imagine that Mr. Dubois wanted to stay boots on the ground as it were I wanted to stay on the yeah. cases because he was a monster at them you know and it's a proper distraction from whatever else is going on in your life and sometimes they just prefer the type of police work available to their current rank in your case lieutenant solving the mysteries yeah I'm sure that uh, heavy duty case solving machine there you Not go being captain probably helps him to keep his lifestyle you know? what's a decomptage I thought my rank was drunk mm-hmm Decontage is the hierarchical system employed by the Revachol citizens militia. It means counting down to twos. The countdown is modeled after the dual leadership system employed by the left during the revolution, which in turn was developed by last century experimental psychologists in the University of Königstein. What an obtuse detail. <laughs> to write into your world the leadership ranking system of your police force and the history of how it was developed in what manner from what place and when is just a sprinkle god damn the lowest rank is junior officer usually teenagers then there are the patrol officers then sergeants lieutenants and then a captain that's basically it, except for a few kinks. What kinks? 
Yeah, teenagers. Yeah, around 15 years old, you're just old enough to be an anime protagonist. Do they get guns? Or robots. Kings like satellite officers and the additionally a freighter rank, I already explained. The long and short of it is, you're his superior. Hmm. Well, Kim is doing a good job to... Keep satellite officers. But you've been putting up with all my bullshit because I'm your superior? So you've been putting up with me because we're of the same rank? Thanks for explaining all this. Oh, you could have gotten it wrong completely. But authority came in. Um... Yeah... Let's let's ask him why he's been putting up with our yeah, bullshit. Straight up. No, I've been putting up with you because despite an unconventional approach, you are doing good police work. Hey, Kim? Game recognized game. God damn. It matters more than driving your motor carriage into the sea. And now we've even found your badge. Good job. That's one thing off our mind. At the end of the day, no matter, again, playing with house money, right? You're alive, everything's a mess, but you might actually solve the case of who did what. That's and like, we, and here's the thing, in this playthrough, at the very least, we did reach in and find the invisible bullet. Mm, you know what true. I mean? That's true. That's that crazy. godlike. That is god-tier detective work. He trusts you for now. Try not to spoil it. Hey, Lord, we got our seven down to a six, but we're still in the, still in the good. Uh, hold on, let's see what we. The contage is the higher rank. The countdown. Get on the second option. The lowest rank is kings like. The long and short of it is. So, your his yeah, let's, let's get some of the other answers here. Satellite off office. Uh, uh. <laughs> you are given the title of satellite officer if your partner is quickly promoted through the ranks and you rise with him. You don't seem to be a satellite. Oh, they even have a marker for when you're just, you're in a buddy cop wow. movie, but like, you're not one of the, like, protagonist buddy cops. You're one of the other guys that got paired with the, with the, with the buddy cop. You're the Will Ferrell. Yeah, <laughs> that got paired up with the, the fucking the action hero, you know? That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Sidekick situation. Uh, oh, now we have to pick. No, wait, yeah. But this is not going to... Okay, so because we've already committed to this one, I just want to make sure, like, these are just going to fill us in, but we've already, like mentally said the thing, right? So it's like, this is what actually affected us. And then here, we're not, we're not going to, like, get different weird um, affectations based on just seeing what they say, yeah. right? Right, okay. If you say this... No, I've been putting up with you. Yeah, okay. Matters more than driving. He trusts you. The contage is the hierarchy. Right. The countdown is modeled after... Because the, the, the impression I've gotten like so far is once you pick it the first time, is you know, we get the experience, it does superior. the whole thing, and then afterwards, like, depending on whether it's like, offend the person or not, or something insane, uh, it's basically just like, yeah, you can My pleasure. choose how to uh, go about just hearing out the rest of it. I thought my rank was drunk. Yes, uh, apparently you've had a rather successful career in the past, and this leads me to believe maybe your current situation is only temporary. Thanks, that gives me hope. I'm afraid there's no ex-alcoholics. That is... insanely lucid of you, Harry. That is a very, very true statement. Damn, that's rough to say. There's no such thing as an ex-alcoholic. I don't want to get better. I want to get worse. <laughs> oh, it's man. Like, it's like, for, for number two, I understand what you're saying. It's like, you had that vice, yeah. and it was a problem, and you're trying to get away from it. So, you could call yourself an ex-alcoholic, but the fact that if you touched it, 
you would spiral down in a second makes it that you still have it in you in a way? Well, I mean, yeah, but it's not even that, like, indirect. It's literally, you go to the program, for example, if you do, and there, and the first thing is just, like, you are still an alcoholic. You still have it in you. What it, whatever it is that makes you yeah. out of control li- doesn't go away. You just come up with um, better coping mechanisms to live your life. Even down but, the line? Yes. Oh, my God. You come up with better incentives to live your life in a healthier manner. I don't so, like that idea. It, yeah, no, no, no. This is literally how it works. Oh you, it, the, you are never not an alcoholic. It is a thing you're born with, and you have that. Alcoholism is there. It's, it is a part of you. You have to realize, because the moment you stop thinking that you are one is the moment you can absolutely relapse. Born with. If, it's a, if you have that in you, if you have a part, something in yeah. you that just like takes addiction as, uh, uh, you know, I mean, addiction shows up in many forms. Yes. And like ultimately it's whatever you choose to, to uh, 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 enact as a coping mechanism. So people choose different things to cope with pain and cope with problems mm. or cope with whatever is going on. Yeah. And if that's how, if it happens to express itself with alcohol, then that's where it goes. Some people choose other substances. Some people choose other activities. But True. whatever the whatever the way is, if you have an addict type personality, it's a thing inside of you that is going to seek a cope with an external thing, and that external thing might be done to excess. You know, so the danger of thinking that you're over it and you're past it, you've defeated this and now it's always going to be behind you is the, is the, is the same mentality that allows you to slip back. You know, there's some things I don't necessarily like about the program and how that stuff kind of goes. I'm not, because that's, it's, you know, whatever it's created by the church and they, they kind of are like, Hey, we're going to talk about that side of things, mm. but not really call it out for what it is. And just that you don't have to say there's God. There's just a higher power. But, but, but that's not the point. But the point is more so just that like, you do have to absolutely keep in mind that like you can still absolutely fuck up at any point. Yes. So when that's you come sure. in, you don't say I was, you say you are an alcoholic and it's a reminder that you can still fuck up. Okay. Yes. So yeah. Okay. I you, see the perspective. Yeah. You're putting that, like perspective of like yes i am one and i will never not be one and i find that so heavy you know? but it it's it is heavy but it also comes with a there's a there's like a there's you're saying i am it means like i have not overcome it but there's that but, there, but it comes with a with a, a comfort in the group and the yeah. strength of other people that can help you through that Man. and that you all acknowledge that you're in this situation and that you are one slip away from falling right back into your worst state and that that's where the support helps you know and by being actively in that state ultimately you are also like you have to keep you have to keep working yeah you are you're a constant project you do have to keep working on it you know um it's it's not a yeah it's not a thing you kick you go to you know it's not a, a fat camp or or you know like fucking sensitivity training or something like that you know what I mean? It's an ongoing because, like, some people will have moments where it's like, yeah, it's been 10 years and I've been more or less fine, but suddenly I got some urges. I don't know. I was, I went to a place the other day and something happened and it just made it, it brought it up. So just like. So then you have to work through it. And, yeah. And still- so, like, two is loaded with all of that, yes. which is like, no, 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 no. This is what they tell you right off the bat. It's what you need to know. Let's you go know? with it, then. People have been through wars and gotten back on their feet, written in the belly of Freighter. He says with a reassuring little smile. Turn back to the document. Such a small yet precious thing. Expensive paper caught between thick plastic, like a fly in amber. It reads. Serial. Rev 1262-05. Jam 41. That's just the serial number. Rev Ashol, Jamrock, Precinct 41, with some numbers thrown in there for good measure. The numbers are not there for good measure. They have an administrative purpose, one that's unfortunately been erased from your memory. Oh. So there's something there. Yeah. Yeah, this, uh. People have been through worse and gotten back on their feet. Is a it's a it's a very uh, like Duncan Trussell mentality approach of things where you're just kind of like 
uh, at the worst possible moment, that's also the beginning of the turnaround. It's the school. It's the lesson yeah. that you can then infer when you're like, oh, yeah, at some point when I'm past this, you look back and go like, damn, that's what it was like to be in that situation. Now I know, you know? Mm. Date of issue, 7th of November, 50. Four months ago. I'm guessing that's when you were promoted to the rank of Lieutenant W. Freighter. A new badge usually comes with a new rank. You seem to have been doing well then. You were fine up until four months ago. Well, quote unquote, yeah. fine. More the, the metric shit compression machine was still working. You're pretty sure you weren't doing well, but better? Probably yes. A lot can happen in four months. Yeah. Especially in winter. Shit compression. The winters are never easy on you. Of that you are sure. Keeps it out of sight and out of mind. And that's what we mean by well, mm -hmm. you know? Precinct 41. Yes, it's the designation of your precinct. 41. Like mine says 57. The 57th is mostly industrial harbor. A lot of asphalt. The 41st is... He stops. What? It's a tough station to work in. You have all of Jamrock to cover. That district should have three precincts, but money is what it is. Oh. It's no wonder you are like you are, he thinks. But then again. That's mm. at four. Just checking. Okay. That's why it's so bitter. Yeah, okay. You are doing the job of like many other officers that should be covering the ground here. Yeah. Interesting. To the point where you're a, a candidate for captain. Huh. In a really hard, hard area. It's interesting, because here in Montreal there was actually a, 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 a major thing um, some years ago where they took all the huge police stations and split them up into small, like, couple people booth and, like, yeah, small that, areas, yeah. you know? To just kind of like cover more ground in a way. Um, don't know what the effect is on anything, but I just remember that was a, uh, a thing that they rolled out. But then again, it's a legendary district and a hell of a station too. It must be an honor and a curse to work with people like Price, McCoy, Berdyayeva. Are you a fanboy of the, of the force? <laughs> he respects mm -hmm. the district. Hi, Esprit. Uh, legendary precinct. Uh, so yeah, he's 57. Roberts, Feuerbach, Dimitri. Suddenly, names from your decomptage flash in your forebrain. The badge in your hand shines as you rotate it, catching light. You see lines of information on it and a shining watermark. It's a nice badge. I mean, now it's all glimming with history in context. Learned a lot about ourselves. Okay. So now we can um, continue, the... continue dressing like a fucking wreck. <laughs> nice shirt. <laughs> Officer Ethan Klein over here, <laughs> basically. Uh, shout out H three. Um, Most people what? seeing him like you're a cop, and Kim is like he's a professional. <laughs> 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 Just picking up tear on the corner. <laughs> All right, tear bag and hand. Let's do it. What uh, is going on in that tent over there? There's a boat tucked away underneath the tarpaulin cover. Okay. Um, let's deep here. make a decision here. Like, we looked at the list. This game is a non-stop Kim. Mm -hmm. Kim? 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 Are you okay? Oh. Okay. I guess he's looking for... Um, Kim had a hard life. <laughs> Are you sure now? Okay. Okay. 
back to back, ready to pose for the poster. Uh, <laughs> okay, oh, okay. It's just the, yeah, it's just the jam rock shuffle. Don't worry about it. Exactly. He's learning. He's yeah. learning. Uh, so uh, I was just gonna ask. Um, I'm going to right now. I'm gonna prioritize walking into new areas and seeing new things. And I'm going to put some of these tasks on the back burner. Sure. Because I feel like... Well, I want to see what's here. Yes. Know. And every session of the past has been chasing those tasks. And it's satisfying to do those things. But, like, let's just walk the map a little bit. Cool. <laughs> Through the broken glass, dusty shelves, and a forgotten chair. The door is like the... I'm sure we'll add to that list. Sounds of life in the north. A washboard scrubs filth from fabric. Oh, you could yeah. track with the door on that I, yep, 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 and that object over there. I'm just uh, hitting the edge of our fog of war. All right, let's continue uh, That's a box. scoping this area out. South looks like a boundary. Tear. What's in there? Are we going to find a husband somewhere? No, nothing but a chair. Cold breeze makes the walls plank the wall planks creak. We got a postcard that we can sell. Cold City 08. You looking for a husband, Reggie? <laughs> you elf elf? <laughs> I'm looking for a husband. Bow knot. Oh, you'll look cute with that. Oh my god. You see a dark red chair in this dim light of the room. Listen, man, a bow tie like for a long while, I was convinced, like, nah. But then I saw some, I saw it being pulled off in a church context. Now, it is very like, Asalaamu Alaikum, my brother. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is very, very, uh, Brother Muzone, as it is. But, um, I've seen it work. I've seen it work. I want to rock it. Oh, have I uh, done it? Yeah, I think I've done it once. I've pulled it off. Um, and I've, I find like, if you're doing the tux, then it, it falls into place quite nicely. Uh, if you're doing just like a regular suit otherwise, it's, you really have to have the right kind of like face and oh, I see. cut for it. You know, it's variable. And, and like, of course, learning how to tie it the original way is like, fucking, mm. that's a mad flex. I can't say it. I know how to tie ties. I yeah. used to do them every weekend to go to church, but I never learned how to tie an original bow tie. It was always a clip on True. for those. Yeah. I guess life goals or bucket list. Banged up fuel canister. A dented stainless steel canister for transporting and storing heavy fuel oil. A logo on its side has been partially stripped over the years of use. The government issued red dyed fuel oil inside looks like paint, though it smells much, much worse. Yeah. Let's not forget our ledger that we can continue looking at things in it, I believe. True. Okay. Bow tie, what do you do? Plus two Plus drama, two that's drama. it. I'm a theater kid. <laughs> you sure wearing this is a state uh, you're sure that wearing this tie is a statement. You're not sure what kind of statement it is though. Yeah, that is accurate. <laughs> accurate. That's it. Drama. <laughs> that's all you're doing. You know. No one's gonna really question it, but we'll raise an eyebrow. What is our uh, metal doing right now around our neck? Our metal is giving us rhetoric. rhetoric okay. All right. Uh, hold on to this for a second. Uh, clipboard, and yeah, there we go. Oh, nice. So yeah, I've I've yet to see the flashlight actually result in new clickables appearing. Mm. It, it so far has not yet done that. So, I just, I'm going to keep testing the theory in the dark. Nice tip. <laughs> yeah. Just it, it, like it yeah, said. Yep, you're doing it. But I, but I've, and I've done it. <laughs> but I, I don't think I've ever noticed if it made a, a something new click, clickable up here. And if it did, then I missed, missed it. But we'll keep, we'll keep doing it. Can't hurt. Uh, yeah. Let's hit up that south side. 
more houses, a fence. Someone has left their music collection beneath the tarpaulin. We gotta oh. hit the stairs? Yeah, we do. And it's leading back here. Well, we never pushed it to the limit here. Oh. I wonder who comes here regularly. Is it like workers? Uh, could be abandoned. Swing's missing. No one's been here for a long time. Rust peels off the bent iron posts of the swing. The wind whistles through the skeleton of the small house behind you. There's desolation everywhere. What happened? In this yard? The lieutenant looks at the small building. A flock of gray swallows takes off in the distance. He's assessing the situation. How long ago was it abandoned? Someone thought they could have a summer house in a block obscure for cheap. It didn't work out. They abandoned it about a decade ago. Wait, what's a block obscure? A black block. A part of the city left and renovated after the war. Or one that has fallen to gang violence. Or has become inhospitable in some other way. Oh, uh -huh. those uh, receding borders where the police don't answer anymore. We don't go there. On aerial photos, block obscures look like dark squares, hence their name. So this part of the coast is a block obscure? Practically, it's not an official term in any way, but look around. No sewage, broken power lines, crime, drums. Life is tough in the blocks. It's no place to build a summer house. Maybe they left something useful behind. You're right. It's no place. Let's go. Yes. For you to pick up as part of the Jamrock Shuffle. He gives you a wary smile. It's not meant as nagging. Just an observation. We should move. I don't think we will solve the murder with forays into the urban hinterland. At least in this phase of the investigation. You're talking shit, but I saw you doing the the one-two step mm -hmm. just a hot minute ago. We're in this corral by the four-story buildings around this yard. The music likes this place. Glory, says the graffito to the ghosts of us. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Find the meaning, huh? What we left behind. And it's inherent, too. Smallest church in St. Sam. That's a tape. Is that a song? Might be. It sounds like it could be a song. See, because... The graffito in self-reference is, in fact, a ghost of whoever wrote it. It's the thing that lingers behind even when they're not around anymore. Smallest church in Saint-Saëns. The tape you found from a shack on the coast. The A-side has Smallest church in Saint-Saëns written on it, while the B-side is supposed to contain the instrumental version. Requires a boombox to play. Well, we're currently in the middle of some fine music, but let's hear some, let's hear some, uh, Saint song. The porter reel is just what you needed. The reels attached to the apparatus with a satisfying click. The tape is routed behind the magnetic reader. 